Hey Brick Blogateers, and we're back with the second part of set 21322, Lego Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Uh, now that we have the ship off the island, you can actually see where the connection points were. So this is actually the first island that they have you build. This has the middle section of the island. It slides in here and attaches to pins that are on, on the island here to snap into place. Uh, this would be the back of the island, so then it would be turned around to the front so you can then see it. So it's fairly nicely hidden, um, and you can see some of the what was hidden underneath there because they do have you put little bits of foliage and frogs and shells and all sorts of different things. As for the other part of the island, you have the connection points for the bow. Uh, so look for the ball joint connector sockets here and here. Uh, there's also a big uh, piece that goes underneath the ship that's the keel that actually props it up to be at this actually interesting angle. Um, the stern of the ship gets attached actually on studs on these four major pillars here. Uh, you actually have to take off a section of the rudder so that it can actually act as a door. Uh, but that just gets built straight on here. And then the thing will be would be turned front that way, and so that would be the front of the island. Uh, you are told to take off quite a few pieces. So here's just a sampling of some of the pieces you have left over from disassembling both uh, from the island, but mostly from the ship, uh, including the little prisoner that unfortunately passed away. Uh, strangely, the ship doesn't act actually have you do cannons, um, so you will have to take those off. As for the ship itself, it looks as nice as you can imagine with the Black Seas Barracuda. Now this does have a pretty side and a not so pretty side, and that's mainly due to the way uh, some of these cells are because they're not printed on the other side. So you can see one side has stripes, the other side has only white. Uh, I will say this is a little bit hard to play with uh, simply because the way you would normally access it uh, is in like some of these grates and grabbing a hold of them isn't too fun. I, uh, you can still get into the captain's cabin by lifting up uh, this back section. So there's that. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to be playing with it as a giant vehicle. Uh, the, of course, the anchor does work. On the front mast here, there is a mechanism that lets you turn and pull that out and then retract it back in. Uh, of course, I like the ship as a ship, so this is what I'm going to keep on display. Unfortunately, that does leave, leave me with a lot of excess uh, brick that doesn't look the best as is. Uh, so if you're looking for a big, massive display piece, I do recommend keeping the whole island together. Uh, but if you're a big boat fan, then you might be able to just live with having a ship and an ugly remnants of an island. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's a lot of, of set in this Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Uh, it's a nice trip down memory lane. They don't shy away from old uh, brick techniques, so you'll see some chunky bricks in here. You can also tell, based on the ship, they use yellow instead of gold uh, to lend itself back to that nostalgic feel of, we didn't have all these gold pieces. Well, now we do, or now we do, but we're still building with yellow because that's what it was back then. So you got that very nice nostalgic feel. Of course, all the minifigures, uh, the great looking ship, once again, the Black Seas Barracuda. There's very little to dislike about this set. Uh, if anything, 
All I can say is it might be a little hard to play with if you have big hands, uh, but for someone with small hands, little kids getting in there, this is a ton of fun. Even for adults, this is a ton of fun. So definitely recommend set 21322, Pirates of Barracuda Bay.